Welcome back to Front Page. In Mumbai, today something unprecedented has taken place. Maharashtra has officially become India's first state to deploy an AI-powered operating system for cybercrime investigations. And Microsoft unveiled it live at the AI tour. It's called Maha Crime OS AI. And if it scales the way the Maharashtra government plans to, this could be India's biggest leap in law enforcement since the crime and criminal tracking network 15 years ago. But before we go deeper, as always, please like, share and subscribe. This is Front Page by AIM Network. And if you're all set, let's get into it. On stage in Mumbai, Satya Nadella himself announced the launch of Mahakrime OS AI, built by CyberEye Marvel. Maharashtra's Innovation SPV Microsoft India Development Center, which is the IDC, powered by Azure OpenAI plus Microsoft Foundry. The system is already live across 23 police stations in Nagpur. And Chief Minister Devendra Padnavis has now proposed a statewide rollout to all 1,100 police stations. This is the beginning of a full AI transformation of India's policing systems. India reported 3.6 million plus cybercrime incidents in 2024, according to the National Cybercrime Reporting Portal. Financial fraud, impersonation scams, digital harassment, AI-generated threats, deep fake extortion. Criminal behavior is actually scaling with AI. And for the first time, law enforcement now has AI on its side too. Built on Azure OpenAI and Foundry, the platform gives officers AI co-pilots for real-time investigation, which is instant case creation, multilingual transcription plus data extraction, automated linking of cross-state cases, digital evidence analysis, contextual recommendations from Indian Penal Code's OSINT-based threat intelligence. And in Satya Nadella's words, the ability for officers to use this agentic system to speed up the time to justice is fantastic to see, end quote. Satya shared a moment that changed the tone of the entire Mumbai keynote. He spoke about the meeting, the Nagpur police investigators, who used to, of course, Maha Crime OS AI, to deliver justice faster to a citizen who was a victim of financial cybercrime. The system reduced the time to action identified patterns across cases and guided the investigation in real time. This is where AI stops being technology and becomes governance. Chief Minister Devendra Fadnavis put it very bluntly. Ethical and responsible AI for public good is our core motto. Our collaboration with Microsoft began with solving complex cybercrime challenges, but its potential is far greater. End quote. He, of course, connected the dots. AI for healthcare, AI for agriculture, AI for public services, AI for governance. Marvel, the state's innovation arm, is already working on AI co-pilots to transform multiple citizen-facing systems. Cybercrime is only the first frontier. Mahakrime OS AI integrates this. Azure OpenAI service, Microsoft Foundry Cloud Plus, confidential compute, AI-based workflow standardization, localized deployments for sovereignty compliance, IDC engineers co-built the platform ground up inside police stations with real officers studying real cases, ensuring real-world usability. Very important. This is, of course, India designed, India built, India deployed AI. Congratulations on that. Well, in the same keynote, Satya explained why this matters globally. If AI is properly used in governments, we can make the lives of people easier, end quote. He then, of course, tied this into Microsoft's broader India roadmap. New South, Central India, hyperscale. AI region, 100% renewable energy. Sovereign cloud plus confidential computing. Local co-pilot data processing. AI safety plus cyber reliance frameworks. This is where it all connects. Mahakrime OS AI is part of the AI public infrastructure India is very quietly building. Harsh Podar, 
the superintendent of police nagpur rural and ceo of marvel said this this is redefining how we fight cyber crime turning complexity into clarity and speed end quote then came mr ram ganesh ceo of cyber ai we are empowering officers even in remote parts of the state to solve complex cases with ease and confidence end quote clearly this is ai diffusing into the last mile exactly what microsoft's india strategy is anchored on if maharashtra succeeds at 1100 police stations three things will follow other states will replicate it up karnataka telangana tamil nadu all facing rising cyber crime issues a national cyber crime operating system becomes possible just like cc tns 2.0 but ai native india becomes an exporter of law enforcement technology just as upi became a global reference point so honestly it is quite remarkable to see when technology becomes state capacity and now as always as its ritual the front page take ma crime os ai is india's first real example of ai as governance ai as public infrastructure ai as digital safety and if it works at scale it could redefine how a billion indians experience justice trust and security in the digital world the big question now is will the rest of india follow maharashtra's lead or will cyber crime outpace governance before ai diffuses nationwide we'll of course as always be tracking it very closely this is front page by aim network like share subscribe and of course always remember think ai think ai am